Good afternoon. I'm Jamila Erickson here with today's midday interview. Today, my guest is someone I've had on the air before and really enjoyed, and I'm just delighted to have him back. Tim Palmer is an author. He's a professor at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, a longtime devotee of French cinema. He's subtitled French films. He's interviewed many French filmmakers for his research. He teaches French film history. He's the author of Brutal Intimacy, Analyzing Contemporary French Cinema, and we're now celebrating the publication of his latest book, for which he is co editor and chief writer. It is called Directory of World Cinema, France, published by Intellect Books. So first of all, Tim Palmer, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me again. Oh, it's just a delight. Now, what I want you to do, first of all, is tell us about the book, and then we're going to be talking about a Bastille Day celebration at Pomegranate Books, where your book will be out there for the public to see, and you'll be showing some films as well. So let's talk about Directory of World Cinema, France. Okay, well, this is a project that came up in part because of the UNCW's partnership with Intellect Press. They have an office on campus, and they were starting a very ambitious series of directories, take a country, study its films, and I was approached to edit the book, and I said yes. Uh, I brought on board a friend of mine, Charlie Michael, to co-edit it with me, and then I immediately thought about, well, how can I write a new, interesting, hopefully innovative history of French cinema? I've always thought one of the great things about French cinema is it has such strength in depth. There are the the masterpieces that people have heard of, but there's lots of blind alleys and darker boulevards of of wonderful filmmakers that are really not that well known. So I started to spread the word, and I approached colleagues, friends, collaborators, and we ended up, I think it was 39 different writers contributed in some form, either writing small essays on individual films, either neglected, films they thought were were worthwhile looking at again, or new essays on well-known films. And I also asked specifically people to write what I called framing essays, as in an essay which snakes through history looking at one particular tendency. I wrote one on the history of women filmmakers in France, for example. We had one on popular genres. Popular filmmaking tends to get a little neglected. You think of French cinema, you think of Beret, cigarette chewing, and intellectual pontification. But (laughs) France has always had a buoyant popular cinema. So we wrote, there were three sections on comedies, which has always been the mainstay of the French box office. Uh, The Policier, also known as the crime thriller, one of my favorites. And also horror films. I don't think of that when I think of French cinema. This is the thing. This is what I always say when when I teach and program French film. We have all these preconceptions, and some of which are true. As I said, there are films with with cigarettes and berets and intellectual pontification, (laughs) and we love those. But there's also lots of other things going on, popular films, and uh, also had a a, a section on avant-garde, experimental film. So really what I try to do is, is, is get a sense of all the different walks of life of French film, past and present, with with experts pitching in with their own takes, situating French film history anew. And I guess the main thing I always get excited about is we we live in such a great age for access to French film and film in general. There are so many boutique specialist labels. I can find very obscure French films streaming online these days. And uh, there's so much there that one of the things I hope the book does is it's it's like a museum guide in printed form of If you're interested in this, look at this and this. Why not think about this idea and this filmmaker and this scriptwriter? Whatever you gravitate towards, whatever you're interested in, I hope there's there's a lead for you to follow on in this book. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Now, when all is said and done with 37 writers and two editors, is that what you said? Yes. What size is the book? Are there photographs? And just kind of describe what it's like if I could hold it in my hands. There are. It's it's about it's just under 400 pages long. So I, I did have to, to, to whine and cajole intellect to give us a little bit more space. We, <laughs> we needed a bit more real estate as, as the book grew. It is lavishly illustrated. I I should point out there are some lovely production grabs, frames, enlargements, publicity materials, and some posters as well. France has a wonderful tradition of poster design in film. So there's there's a nice nice, uh, gamut of images to go with it as well. If you're just joining us, you're hearing Tim Palmer. He is a professor at UNCW, an author of a book called Brutal Intimacy, Analyzing Contemporary French Cinema. He's written many articles, and his latest book coming out right now is Directory of World Cinema, focusing on France by Intellect Books. Is the, they're the publisher, and he is a co-editor. And there are 37 authors involved in submitting to the book. There will be a great celebration, a a book launch on Sunday at Pomegranate Books. And we'll be hearing about that in just a moment. 
on Sunday from 5 to 7 p.m. at Pomegranate Books at 4418 Park Avenue. There's a celebration of Bastille Day. And for those who are listening who may not be Francophiles, just give us a little bit of history. What is Bastille Day? Bastille Day is to commemorate. Uh, it's interesting. We've just had July 4th over here. It's it's the French equivalent of this, in a sense. It's to commemorate the, the, the high point of the French Revolution, which was the storming of the Bastille, which was a notorious prison and, a, and something of a symbol of the, uh, the, the perceived uh, despotic, corrupt regime where political prisoners were often held. So it was a, it was a state-run prison. Actually, history tells us that it was something of a symbolic uh, victory. There was very little resistance by then, and I think there were only about 12 prisoners. And I think of those 12, if I remember re- correctly, three or four of them were were mad. It was being mm. used basically as a, as a jail for the insane at that point. So mm. as history has come along, they've rewritten this and, and turned it into a, into a symbolic overthrowing of the old regime. And the old Bastille is now torn to the ground, but there are still frequently uh, manifestation protests held there, and it still has this symbolic cachet. But the day itself is, is lots of pomp, lots of ceremony. There are processions up and down the Champs-Élysées, I remember once as a <laughs> penniless graduate student, I actually made the mistake of arriving in France to do a research stay in Paris on the 14th, oh. which was <laughs> which made it all the more difficult to travel across Paris. It's not I'm always sure. the easiest city to, to travel. Yes, it has. I think it's the biggest military parade in the world that happens is on, that so? on Bastille you're, Day. You're, you're, yes, you're on, on the Champs Elysees. It certainly is. It's it's certainly a big day for them, and there'll be yes. fireworks all night, and they light up the Eiffel Tower, and it's. It's just like the July 4th. It's this symbolic origin point of a nation, basically. Wonderful. Now, on Sunday, with that celebration of of Bastille Day at Pomegranate Books from 5 to 7 p.m., Tim, you're going to be there, and you're bringing not only your book, but a couple of French films, two short French films that I bet most people listening have never seen, much less heard of, and they sound fascinating. Please tell us about those films. Yes, I thought... To, to celebrate French cinema and France and all things French culture, why, what better idea than to, to show a couple of shorts? These are two of my favourites. I've just actually finished teaching a class on the history of French film entirely through shorts. There's always been a tradition of shorts. They're not looked on as the poor cousin of feature films so much in France. They're really celebrated. So I thought I'd show two. One old, one new. The old one is from 1915. It's called Of Feet and Hands. And it's a really lovely film. One of the pleasures of studying film history is you find wonderful oddities and curios as you poke around and get off the beaten path a little bit. This is directed by a man called Gaston Ravel. He has very little reputation. You won't find much about him on Google or anywhere else, really. He was a contract director at Gaumont, which is arguably the world's first ever film studio. And Gaston Ravel really came up through the ranks. He was a contract director, went on to direct epics in the 1920s. And this is something of a weird little experimental commercial film. The entire short takes place. We never see any faces. It is, as the title tells us, of feet and hands. Uh, And not only is it this, but it's also, to me, a director who, in 1915, seems to me to be growing weary of film cliches. The film's a torrid melodrama. There are duels. There's a daring escape from a tram when a woman gets her foot caught in the tracks. It's almost as if he said, we, we've seen all these things a million times before, you know, star-crossed lovers, all these kinds of historical genre materials. But what I'm going to do is, is, is set myself the challenge. I'm going to do it without showing any faces at all. We only see hands, fingers, feet, and legs. And it's this, wonderful, it's, it's, it's this <laughs> wonderful little gem that no one has ever heard of, that I, I, I show it to anyone who'll see it as often as I can. And I'm looking forward to screening it on Sunday. We just have a minute left. Let's sure. talk about the other film. The other film's called Man on, on the Asphalt. It's from 2007. I thought I'd show something old, something new. This was Oscar nominated. And it's a, a, a really a collage film about a young woman who is hit by a bike and apparently lies dying on the asphalt. And it's just a kaleidoscope of her memories and regrets and high points of her life. And it's this wonderfully lyrical, poetic tapestry of, of memories and, and, and incidents from her life. Just a real dense tableau of, of cinematic things in 14 minutes. So alongside the presentation of the book, and I'll be talking a little about French film, these two shorts, I think, show us 
a little of the tradition of French cinema and how wonderful it is. The films are Of Feet and Hands from 1915, Manon on the Asphalt from 2007. If you'd like more information about the Bastille Day celebration at Pomegranate Books, Sunday from 5 to 7 p.m., you can go to palmbooks.net. If you'd like to know more about Tim's recent publication, Directory of World Cinema, France, you can go to intellectbooks.com. Tim Palmer, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Thanks a lot.